Today we're opening up the brand new Culture Fly Dunder Mifflin Paper Company The Office Mystery Box. So this comes out, I'm pretty sure it's every quarter. Price point this box, I think is around $55, $60. So it's not the cheapest box to purchase. But if you're a fan of The Office, you like this box. I've had this box since the very first one that they released a year and a half ago or so, I'm, I'm guessing. There's never been a bad box. Um, do I keep every item for every box? No, because I buy a lot of stuff. I've done over 2,300 some videos on this YouTube channel. If I kept everything, I would literally have to own a warehouse just to store all the stuff from all the boxes. So a large chunk of the stuff I get in boxes, I sell. And I sell them in my eBay store. They'll be directly downloaded to my eBay store. Check it out. There's over 1,300 items available for sale right now. Collectibles, electronics, housewares, everything's for sale. Here we go. You ready? Let's do this. The office box. Hopefully, there's something here that's fun. I want to keep. Cool t-shirt maybe or something. Yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of The Office, this honestly is a good mystery box to purchase every single month. I've never had like a bad box, to be totally honest with you. But here, let's see, look at the box, close up view. That's the front of the box right there. We got the back of the box, side, solid, and side. And of course then, the bottom's blank. Here we go, let's do this thing blind. Just reach in and grab stuff. On top is probably gonna be the cheat sheet. Yeah, let's set this off the side. We don't see that yet. Here we go. First item, we have a postcard set, it says, with the Dunder Mifflin office building right there. So we have, there's probably like, what, maybe five postcards in there? It doesn't say, but it looks like, like five. A little something something. Postcards, okay. A little throw-in kind of thing. Here we go. We have something soft. Let's go to the t-shirt. Let's do the t-shirt next. Oh, that's that's a very white t-shirt. White and green. <laughs> Let's see. The back of I can, I can kind of see through the t-shirt. It says Dunder Mifflin, the office. Oh, we have all different funny scenes from the office. You got the bobblehead, you got the banjo, you I mean the plant, the vance refrigeration, Serenity by Jan. <laughs> the jello mold i mean not not the not my favorite shirt i won't keep this this uh i would honestly i would never wear the shirt but it's pretty soft it's decent quality brand new i think it's a 3xl right yeah 3xl the office brand new with tags this is called the office doodles raglan tee yeah, this will be for sale in my ebay store brand new t-shirt brand new with tags all the dunder mifflin funny parts of the tv show Go back in. Next. It feels like glasses. Oh, it's, it's not glasses. Back says, Florida Stanley Crazy Straw. So we got the Stanley Straw. That's pretty cool. F Florida Stanley. Life is short, dry fast, and leave a sexy corpse. That's one of my mottos. <laughs> so we have a Florida Stanley Crazy Straw. Okay. I won't keep that either, but... There'll be some fans of the office that are going to freaking love that thing. Here we go next. The back says Saber Pyramid Keychain. That's pretty cool. Just a little keychain throw in. Put on your, your key ring and you're good to go. You got the Saber Keychain. Okay, go back in. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Next. What do we have here? A little bit of closer inspection. Is it a fanny pack? It is a fanny pack. It's a Scranton Dunder Mifflin fanny pack. <laughs> of course, people now, they they wear them like across their chest, you know, like underneath the arm and stuff. I see people wearing them like this now all the time. But back when we were kids, back in the 80s, we wore them like fanny packs. A lot of people wore them in the back, like a fanny pack. I always wore mine to the front or to the side a little bit, like when I was a kid on vacation or something. But would I wear a fanny pack now? No. No. <laughs> 40 years ago, 35, 40 years ago, I already had my fair share of fanny packs. I'll put it back in there later. 
little waste of time on. Here we go, next. Oh, we got the sumo suits. Beach game, slider pin. That's pretty cool. We have a slider pin, so you can take it back and forth. Slide it around with the beach games. Okay, next. There's still, there's still more stuff in here. Okay, here's something that's soft. Guess it's a beach towel. Guessing it's a beach towel. And it is a beach towel. That's a actually decent quality beach towel too. What's that say? I cannot read it. Hopefully you can read it on camera. It says the mind has to wrap around the foot. <laughs> That's awesome. See, where's the tag on it? Oh, there it is. The tag, they call this the Cold Walk Beach Towel. That's pretty cool. Actually, it's a decent quality beach towel. Like, it doesn't feel, like, super cheap or anything. Because, you know, some beach towels, you heck, whenever you go down to, like, Panama City Beach, Virginia Beach, you go to those, like, uh, beach shops, like, on the boardwalk, half those towels they sell in there for, like, five bucks are really bad quality. Wash them once. Lots of times the red will like bleed under the rest rest of the towel. I got burned by a couple of towels on, on vacation. Got burned a few times. Here we go. Next. Oh, we got the silica gel pack. That's awesome. I think there's like one thing left. Maybe. No, there's, there's still two more things. Let's do this. Oh, that's awesome. Kevin Tensign. Played by Brian Baumgart. I met him three years ago back at Rhode Island Comic Con. Very nice man. I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if you ever a chance to meet Brian in person, do it. Um, very social, very nice. He told us stories about how the... Um, episodes on the office actually became kind of like a, a real life was it M NBC right like an NBC HR training video of not of, of what not to do on the job he was he was telling us about that that uh the office became kind of like the the training video like don't do this at work because it's not okay Florida Stanley Tiki Mo let's see what this looks like That's pretty cool. <laughs> we got a Florida Stanley Tiki mug. Hand wash only, of course. That's pretty cool. I like that. This is actually a pretty good box. There's actually a, quite a bit of value in this box. Um, what will I keep in this box? Honestly, this time, I'm not too sure what I will or will not keep. I had to go back through one more time and kind of like see what I really need and what I don't need. Let's do the cheat sheet. We have the Cold Walk Beach Blanket. Very nice quality beach blanket. The Fanny Pack. The Fanny Pack. We have the Office Postcards. Actually, this only has three postcards on it. We have the Office Doodles t-shirt. The Florida Stanley. Oh, so actually they're saying that your straw goes with your tiki mug. Makes sense. Beach game sliding pin, the Kevin hot dog tin sign, and the keychain. This was the summer 2022, the office mystery box made by Culture Fly. So, what's your views in this box? Did you think that this was a good quality box? Like I said I think the price point is like 55, between like 50 to 60 bucks. Let's say like 55 bucks on average. I don't remember honestly how much. I think it's around 55, but value wise. If you're a fan of The Office, this was pretty good value. If you're a fan of The Office. If you don't like The Office, you look at the stuff back, man, this is junk. But if you like The Office, it was good value.